In today's world, we live a life of luxury compared to those of medieval people. We have a near infinite supply of hot water for the winters and cold water for the summers. We have indoor plumbing, quality soaps, conditioners, and shampoo that even medieval nobles didn't have access to, let alone peasants. Then, how did they clean themselves? Did they even have any importance for hygiene? Well, that's what we will find out in today's video. Before we begin though, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for future uploads. To answer your question, yes, medieval peasants did try their best to keep themselves clean with what they had. However, they didn't have much in way of hygienic products. So more often than not, they reeked of body odor and waste material. They were usually covered with lice and vermin fleas, which led to weakness, disease, and even death. All they were able to do was to wash themselves often or not. Using flowers and herbs to smell? Well, not terrible. However, the water available to them wasn't always the best. The water they had available to them was mostly dirty and cold, which was gathered from nearby rivers or wells. And with no place to bathe in their slums, they had to bathe outside in the street. They could only watch as the middle class and elites bathed in warm public baths, which they didn't have access to. Peasants performed manual labor, so bathing helped rid themselves of the lice and fleas. However, some peasants did didn't bathe at all. Because they thought it took too much effort, most peasants owned just one set of clothes, which were rarely ever washed. They understood that washing their clothes and undergarments would protect them from parasites and diseases. However, that was almost always not an option because they couldn't afford another set of clothes to wear while their current ones were being washed and dried. Those who owned another set of garments washed them once a week as they changed into the other. They washed the clothes in the rivers with lye soap, but that wasn't always the best option since the rivers were polluted with animal and human excrements. The peasants were also unlucky when it came to the use of toilets. They made do with outhouses, which were shared with the community. There were some places where even outhouses were unavailable and they had to make do with waste buckets, which were emptied in a cesspit or a river. They used materials like moss or hay in place of toilet paper. All these poor hygiene choices made it common among peasants to have fleas, lice, and parasites. It was so common that combs were made with finer bristles that could remove lice and other insects from the hair while brushing. Even so, it was considered important to keep themselves as clean as possible. So, even though peasants couldn't take showers with clean water or wash their clothes, they did wash their faces and hands regularly because it didn't require much effort to collect water in containers and carry them all the way to their homes. Medieval peasants were mostly bearded. The reason for this is because many of them couldn't afford to go to a barber and pay him to shave. They couldn't even afford to do it at home as mirrors were luxury items made of polished and waxed metals. They slept on straw bedding, which wasn't as comfortable as the beds the nobles slept on, but got the job done. However, the bedding is supposed to be changed regularly, which many peasants didn't do, and this led to bugs and flies nesting inside and staying there for a long period. Hence, peasants suffered from bed bugs, fleas, and lice. To combat this, they used mint, lavender, and other scented materials if they could afford them. They also had wooden blankets to cover with when sleeping. Peasants couldn't use toothbrushes since they didn't exist back then, but they did use a piece of cotton or wool to shine their teeth and then rinse their mouths with water. Others used twigs and small branches, like those of hazel trees, to clean their teeth. They didn't have a big use for dental hygiene as we do because they rarely had any sugar in their diet and didn't have many cavities. However, their teeth did get a lot of wear and tear since their primary diet was stone ground whole bread, which was notoriously hard to chew. Menstruating women had a hard time if they were of the lower class. More often than not, they had nothing to soak the blood with, so most women just let themselves to bleed out into their clothes. Those who were fortunate enough to have rags, used them and washed them in between each cycle so they could be reused. Some women wrapped their rags around twigs and used them as tampons, and some collected absorbent moss to use as pads. Major religions at the time shamed women menstruating, and so many women tried their best to disguise it 
it by applying heavily scented herbs that stopped any odors. Bacteria was common among medieval peasants. In fact, parasites were so frequent in medieval times that individuals tried a variety of herbal cures to get rid of them. Some peasants utilized simple household goods to attract fleas that have contaminated people's mattresses, such as smearing glue on a slice of bread and sticking a candle in the middle. Other methods, such as rinsing hair with sea salt water or sniffing lavender, proved ineffective in getting rid of lice nets. If the crazy glue toast didn't work out, what do you think of the hygiene of medieval peasants? Let us know in the comments below. With this, we're going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more history content. We hope to meet you guys again in the next video. Till then, adios.